Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last part, we were coming over Bond Bridge. And uh, in this part, we're going to continue going down here and fighting the trainers around here and hopefully find that really tricky Lostel girl who just does not want to be bound. Uh, yeah, I want to check on my team because it's been a while. Oh, and uh, before I even say anything, I um, want to give a shout out to someone by the name of Lucario Knight Master. I'm sorry for this long overdue shout out, but the way I record videos means I have a lot of episodes recorded at once, so it takes me a long time when I can uh, get to a recording session to actually make new content. So, uh, thank you for uh, watching my videos and commenting and being awesome all around. So, uh, anyways, now that's out of the way, let me check on my team. Uh, looks like everything is in order. Jewel's up front. Venus is overleveled. Gosh. How did Venus go from being way underleveled to way overleveled? I don't understand. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. We fought all these people, right? Perhaps that reek is your sweaty Pokemon, but... Oh, well, jeez, lady. I think she already said that to me. Yeah, I'm gonna finally learn how to swim. Yay. Good for you. Oh, what's this? Berry forest ahead. Ooh, is it a forest of berries? Oh, it's a dungeon! Gosh darn it! I was hoping there'd be just a bunch of berries over for me to eat. Welcome to the berry forest. Be friendly and share berries with others in Pokemon. Okay, I can do that, just as long as you let me find the freaking berries. Because I don't see any. These are just plain old trees here. These don't look like berry trees to me. Boy, am I glad that I have shiitake. <laughs> that looks like a very, uh, necessary item. Not item, but move to have here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down all the trees that I come to, because you never know. You never know when you need to make, like, a quick getaway because there's some kind of creepy ghost-type Pokemon lurking in the woods. Or when you need to make a quick getaway from a horde of Beedrill. Uh, that would not be very pleasant, I can tell you that for sure. There's a bell sprout. Goodbye, bell sprout. Yeah, you never know what kind of Pokemon could be lurking in these places. But that's why we have a strong team to defend us. I suppose. Oh, crap. I didn't really mean to jump down there, but whatever. This mostly looks like a maze of sorts. Ooh, a Weeping Bell in the Wild. That's a new one. I have a Victory Bell, though. So, I think I'm good. Venus is definite. Oh, item. A full hill! Yay! That's always useful. There's water here. We should surf. Oh, I always forget how f oh I like the, the little ripples that follow behind when you surf on these bodies of water. And yeah, I think that's just backtracking. Crap, that was double backtracking. Tra wait, that wasn't backtracking. There's another tree there. I thought I was backtracking, and then I thought I was double backtracking because I accidentally jumped down that ledge, and then I saw a new tree. And <sighs> the struggle of dungeons. I'll tell you that for sure. That's <laughs> it's a struggle. Cause yeah, we haven't been here, have we? Wow. Beware of wild bear living Pokemon. Oh no, there really are gonna be weird Pokemon in here, aren't there? Like, wait a minute. Whole bodies of water are in here. I'm gonna get lost and I'm not gonna find everything. Oh hey, look. Oh my gosh, how many trees? Don't tell me the trees extend all the way down to <sighs> four trees. Four trees blocking my path. Four trees. That sounds like... Actually, I think that is the name of the place in that book series, Warriors, about the cats. Yes, I do read those, and I love them. Just finished the first series, actually. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I apologize. It's about... It's, it's a book series about, like, uh, cats who live in the forest. And, uh, they... Put, Whoa! Did we catch that? Dude, I think we should catch that, because that is cool. Whoa. I'm catching it. I'm gonna catch that. Because <laughs> that's a cool thing to find. Okay, um... Double Kick's not gonna do crap, which is... Oh. Well, we want to do more crap than that. Because that's going to take an eternity, and I don't have the time for that. Dude, it is side game. Wow. I hope this doesn't knock it out. It's a bug type. Let me resist it, right? Right? Oh, it's 
not too bad. Haha, <laughs> I resisted your attack in turn. Okay, now double kick might actually be useful because we can, well, that's still a ridiculous... Oh man, give me a taste of my own medicine. This isn't fun. This isn't fun, Venomoth. Is this your idea of a practical joke that- Oh crap, please don't knock it out. Please, 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 please. Whew. I had a many heart attack there. Like, no! <laughs> don't get rid of this Pokemon, I've already invested- Oh, it's gonna leech my life. Oh well. Whatever, I can still catch it. Uh, should I invest my Ultra Balls? Uh, I'll try one Great Ball, and if that doesn't work, then I'll switch to Ultra Balls. Come on. Uh, yeah. Great Balls are not really gonna work, are they? Wow, I love your strategy there, Venomoth. Well, he's already paralyzed. Maybe if I do it again, he'll get paralyzed more. Yep. That was my attempt at doing a really dumb, very typical dumb person laugh, I guess. Yeah, I got it! It sounded more like a hiccup, though. Why is it that, like, some people will laugh and it sounds like they're hiccuping? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Poison Moth Pokemon. The dust-like scales covering its wings are color-coded to indicate the kinds of poison it has. Oh, so these things could have varying degrees of deadliness to them, huh? Good to know. Uh, what should I name her? Um, I'm not feeling very creative today. What was the name of, um... <laughs> that was a voice crack there. What was the name of, uh, the moth in Bug's Life? Because I don't remember her name. She was a moth. She was a moth. I don't remember her name, though, because it's been an eternity since I saw that movie. Um... I don't really know where this name came from. It's kind of just a corruption of the word moth. I believe I've heard this word somewhere before, and it probably means something completely different. But I'm gonna go with it. Mothra. Is that a real word? Like, does that actually refer to stuff? Really, or is that just something I'm making up in my head? And, I don't know. It feels like I've heard that somewhere before. So, a max elixir! Yay! No! Wow, Pokemon! Unless it's something really awesome, leave me alone. You're not awesome, you're just a Pidgey. I'm sorry, Pidgey, I know, I know, I know, it's a hard truth, Pidgey. Oh, Jewel's paralyzed. I should probably do something about that. Oh, don't exit, press the A button, not the B button. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming I do not have any... Oh, I do have a Paralyzed Heal. Oh, I have four Paralyzed Heals. Nice. Okay. Sweet, we're all good here, then. I wonder how much crazy stuff there is to explore out here outside of that, because we were surfing a lot. Like, this is... Uh, we've only surfed two times, but for me, this is a lot of surfing. Okay, wait, is this where we came from? I think this might be... Maybe it's not, though, because this place is really confusing. Um... Anything cool? Oh, Weeping Bell. No, not all that cool. Venus does not need a replacement. She is too awesome. Oh gosh, yeah, this is a new place. I see more trees. How many... Oh, a drowsy. I don't have a drowsy. Should we catch that too? Nah, I don't really feel like it. I kind of want to just explore, really. Unless I find something really awesome, I'm probably not going to be all that interested. Okay. Cut the tree, shiitake. Oh, hey, item. A max ether, 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 ether. You know, you think by now I would have done like a simple Google search to see what that, or uh, see how to pronounce that word, but I haven't because I really don't know. I keep forgetting, I guess. And that appears to lead to literally nowhere. Yeah, this appears to lead all the way back down to where I started. I think that's a bit counterproductive. Yeah, this is where we started. I remember this formation of trees. We were just there. Counterproductivity should be my middle name, but it's not. That would be a Pidgeotto, which I've contemplated catching, but like I said, I want to explore more. Okay, let's go down here. Wait, we were just here. This was backtracking. Gosh darn it. This is why I don't like dungeons. I'm really bad at navigating. Wait, did I backtrack again? No, wait, 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 no. I I went the right way. Yeah, if my experiences in uh, the Seafoam Cave have taught me anything, it's that I should not ever navigate through anything ever again. But I have to because the game requires it. 
The game demands it to be so. Okay, uh, have we been down that flowery path yet? That's a weird flowery path. Okay, beware of wild berry. Yeah, I know. Hello. You wouldn't be a lost elf by any chance, would you? Whimper sniff. Oh, please help. Oh, no. Don't tell me there's a bunch. If there's a bunch of Beedrill coming after her, I'm sorry. I'm going to hightail it out of there. Or, God forbid, Sandshrew. Uh, now, if it's a Sandshrew, I'd probably beat it to a pulp. But a scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It kept scaring. It made lost elf scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again! No, go away, it's scaring me! Oh gosh. Oh gosh, please tell me it's not something freaky. Waha, I want my daddy! The heck? Is that a, a hepno cry? Holy crap, it was! Dude, a hepno? That's not what I expected to find. Um. Okay, for, first thing on my mind is what the heck? Second thing on my mind is should I catch this thing? I'm going to attempt. I will make an honest attempt to catch this thing because that would be a cool Pokemon to capture. I can uh, rehabilitate this thing so that it doesn't go into the forest and scare young little girls. Uh, what Pokemon would be best suited for weakening you? Uh, Yin would probably be pretty good. But then again, Yin has super effective attack. You know, let, let's use Yen anyways. Yen can do his stuff. He's good at this kind of thing. Oh, don't poison me! Why would you do that? Jeez, okay, that's fine, I can do this. Um, payday. Please work. Oh, snap, that's gonna lower his health quite a bit. Oh, oh, you're paralyzed. Any other attacks that I use are, at this point are probably going to really use really lower his health. Oh, except for maybe Scratch. I still have Scratch after- No! No, you can't do that to me! I was gonna catch that thing! Why would you do that? No! I was gonna catch it! Oh, if I'd known that I was gonna be facing a cool Pokemon, I would've saved my game. Gosh darn it. No! Ugh. Oh. Fine. Fine! Fine. I don't care. Whatever. That thing was scaring a little girl. It probably was too far beyond trainable at that point. Okay. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Well, I still came to pick some berries. Are you, like, you refer to yourself in the wrong tense there, ma'am? Is ma'am the right thing to refer to a young girl as who refers to herself in the third person? I, I don't know. Okay, you can have this. Oh, hey, a berry! Thanks, maybe this wasn't all a lost cause. What's your name? I am Lara. I'm well, still scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's let's go home then. Okay, rescued Lostel. How can I thank you? Yes, I rescued your daughter. Try to be a more responsible parent from now on, sir. There's not always going to be some kind of heroic young girl coming along to save your family members when they get lost. Lostel, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got you friends with Laura. Oh, that's sweet. In real life, though, I probably would be kind of horrified because I don't like children all that much. Okay, I guess that's uh, what we need to do for now. Oh, poison. I need to heal my Pokemon. Really? How did I come that whole way with a poison Pokemon without that Pokemon fainting? Like, how did Yen not faint that whole time? Ugh. Who knows? I know there... So, wait, is that everything that we can do? Because we've been through, like, that was all of three islands. We've been through all of two island and all of one island, right? 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 I don't know. Okay, hold on. Uh, first things first, we should probably get Willow back into the party. The party. The party. That sounds a lot more fun than just a party. Uh, let's check out Mothra. A timid nature, oh poor thing. Uh, shield dust, leech life stuns for gust and siding. Okay, cool. We now have uh, both. It was we have a venonat, we have Ned the venonat, and we have Mothra the venomoth. I'm sure they will get along very well. Darn, I wish I could have caught that heck no. How did I know Scratch is gonna knock it out? Scratch is gonna. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, Oh, there was one other thing that I wanted to do, actually. 
I'm pretty sure we have to find out how to get out of here, but there was something that I missed, like, right on Three Island. Right at the entrance. That kind of bothered me. I was looking back at the footage, and I realized that I skipped past it. Oh, hey, by the way, this lady's not being attacked anymore. His bike has ran off, and Lassell was found safe. Everything turned out for the best. I'm so glad. I missed this cave right here. I was wondering if there's anything in here. Other than some dude staring at a rock. You okay there, man? Hey there, how's it going? What am I doing here, you ask? Why, I'm prospecting for gold. When I strike it rich, I'm buying a house in Kanto. Okay. Something tells me these, uh, these islands have their fair share of crazies. Uh, anyways, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. In the next part, I will try to figure out how to get back to the, uh, mainland of Kanto off of these islands, because I think we've done everything here that we can at the moment. Uh, yeah, and then I guess we will have to figure out what our next goal will be from there. I will see you peeps later.